What's going on my beautiful people? I wanted to let you know of a secret hack that I found out um, after using Transtape for three years and starting to work behind the scenes in the business. I'm starting to learn a lot of different other small tips and tricks and this is a big one. So if you experience itching or any kind of uncomfortableness underneath the, on your skin, um, and you, you know that kind of like allergy scratchy feeling, you're gonna wanna watch this. All right, so let's jump right into this. Uh, first things first, you're gonna wanna put on your nipple covers. Okay, so I've already have my trans tape on this side like usual. This side I'm gonna be experimenting with milk of magnesia. Milk of magnesia, whatever. It looks like this, and uh, or this is the Equate version of it, I think. And um, this is supposed to be a great physical barrier for your skin in order to fight that itching that comes along with trans tape and binding with tape, KT tape, generic, athletic tape in general is a lot of that itching so hopefully this is going to help with a lot of that itching i have some of that because my chest hair is starting to get a little bit longer and no more noticeable and i'm starting to notice it under my tape a lot so um yeah so kai the owner suggested this to me and i figured we would give it a shot so i've already got my nipple cover on so when you're when you make your nipple covers just check up here for that video you're actually supposed to um use like toilet paper and fold it over three times and three times up but Bo shout out to Bo showed me in his video that you can actually use a smaller piece of trans tape and just fold it over and if you have you know obviously you need to make it to the size of your like areola or whatever so um, so say this is a good size right so say that's the size of your areola I guess um, this would be perfect instead of using the toilet paper because it won't get wet it won't um, kind of get that soggy feeling anyways I've already got mine on so I've got this side ready to go and then this side right here needs um, to be taped but first what we're gonna do is um, if you have trouble with it not sticking you're gonna want to use um, like alcohol kind of or to, to wipe and like cleanse the area next what we're gonna want to do is make sure we get the whole area soaked with milk of magnesia, milk of man magnesia. God, it's gonna kill me all video. So the next step is to take this and pop the cap off. It's gonna be like kind of pinky, kind of like kind of reminds you of Pepto Bismol. That's my computer. Oh yeah, we're loving these distractions today, guys. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna want to do is take your towel and put it over the top of the milk of magnesia. Magnesia, <laughs> God. Okay, and then turn it upside down and backside, right? So you kind of have like a little bit of on the paper and then you're gonna kind of just wipe around where you're gonna be applying the tape. A lot of people that have, um, have some issues with it underneath your, their side right here. So that'd be a great place to really saturate it. Sorry for all these random dog noises in the background, but. Okay, so now I'm gonna let it dry just completely dry it's gonna end up being a little bit of chalky feeling on there um, and you're just going to let it dry completely and then we'll go to the next step now that my chest is starting to dry a little bit I'm getting a little sticky I can tell it's starting to feel a little stickier as it's drying but I'm just gonna leave it be let it keep drying all the way till it's not sticky anymore and it's completely dry so it takes well we'll clock in and see exactly how long while we're waiting for this to dry, if you're in need of trans affirming supplies, I'm giving away one Axlum product and one deluxe kit every single month inside the Lone Wolf District, which is my own personal Facebook group where people compete with challenges in order to better their life and receive products for sharing that experience with us. So if that sounds like something that will be helpful for you, click the link in the description below and it'll take you straight there to give you some more information about it. Okay, it's almost completely not sticky. I'm gonna wait. We're gonna wait and do it till it's actually not sticky because this is a video and we're testing this. This side I already put on without milk of magnesia. So um, it'll be a good way to kind of test it. Okay, so it's definitely less sticky now and it's feeling more like chalky. So I'm taking another like dry paper towel, you can use a rag or whatever, and kind of just like dusting off this excess like chalk. Like, I don't know, I can't really explain it. It's like, just like kind of a dust feeling. I don't know, I'm not like, I'm not wiping off what I just put on. I'm just kind of like dabbing it to make sure that I don't have like too much built up. 
is if that makes sense. So now that I got all the extra dabbed off, it's time to put my other piece on. So I purposely didn't prepare it so I can explain to you how I do it. Trans tape comes in these super long rolls that just keep going forever. You know I'm gonna roll that right back up and use it because we are not wasteful around here. Trans tape's completely up to you for how many blue lines you need to use for your own body. Like obviously everybody's different, every body is different and you're gonna need a different size depending on what your body looks like. So. I usually do four blue lines. I don't bind my chest as flat as I could. I know that I can achieve a flatter look if I really wanted to. Um, this is just the way that's more comfortable for me because, um, yeah, I just don't like it really tight on my chest and kind of have like sensory annoyances is more like it, I guess. I rounded the edges. Super important. It distributes the amount of like tension on the actual corners so that way you don't get like these blisters on the corners of top bottom top bottom on your chest so then you're gonna so for me i'm gonna take the blue line and then i'm just gonna kind of pull it apart kind of naturally stretch it on its own and it kind of falls to where you could just peel off this first piece so now i feel like i have like a layer of protection on my skin so now that we have this part ready i'm gonna i'm have a mirror over here so that's what i'm <laughs> looking at um I'm just trying to match the other side the best that I can. And then I'm gonna rub this to activate this part. And then this side, this flap right here, um, I'm gonna pull back to about the last two inches, inch to two inches. And so now you kind of have like these two flaps and you're gonna take this side and pull I say pull but I just mean lightly give some tension down and under your under your side so you're pulling tension on this arm you're pulling tension that way with this hand and you're moving your tissue to where you're trying to get it to go and then once you have it as far over as you can you just let this side completely go and then don't raise your arm keep it keep it as low as you can as you just push that against your skin. It just falls and it's real a smooth line. So yeah, so then you rub to activate it. Now that I got this side also on there, I am gonna leave both of both sides for, so today's Friday at 7 p.m. Um, I'm gonna leave it till Sunday at 7 p.m. So I'm gonna work two days because trans tape can be used consecutively from three to five days. So I'm just gonna give it two days. So I'm just gonna compare and see, you know, which side feels if I notice a difference if I feel anything different and I'll report back to you guys what is going on everybody so it is now Sunday the 11th at 7 p.m. so it is time for me to reveal to you how, how the milk of magnesia worked for my chest and uh, yeah so let's get right into it I noticed a remarkable difference this stuff really gives you like a full layer between you your skin and the tape so that if you have some issues with that adhesive if it's making it a little bit itchy if it's not really feeling right on the on your skin if you feel like it, your skin's a little bit too raised even with all the right um, application and removal you know techniques and stuff and all the videos it really makes a big difference so if you have sensitive skin please 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 go snatch some of this stuff up be a li link in the description below for you to be able to get some if you're watching this and you're not able to go to the store and get some but so if you have that sensitivity please 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 check out getting this stuff um, this is what the equate version looks like that's what the equate version looks like it uh it also comes in phillips as a brand um and yeah it, it'll do a lot it'll do a lot for your skin it'll make you feel a little bit more comfortable if you're having any kind of like itchingness itchingness <laughs> itchiness i really strongly suggest for you to follow along and do this too let me know if it works for you if you've tried milk of magnesia for your chest magnesia. I don't know why I can't say that. If you've tried milk of magnesia for your chest, drop in the comments below. Let me know how it went for you. I wanna know the secrets and deets that you use for you to feel more comfortable in your tape. So let me know. I'll share the wealth, I'll share the knowledge. If you are not in my Facebook group, The Lone Wolf District, and you need some gender affir affirming supplies like a free packer or a free deluxe kit of trans tape, please check out my Facebook group. Um, and it'll be really beneficial to you. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you guys 
in the next video. Peace.